Okay, after 15 billion requests, I'm going <laughs> to make my final attempt at uh, showing you how to transfer Word documents or pictures to your TI Inspire handheld. But this is, you have to have the uh, TI software, so buy the software. Uh, one thing you might want to do is buy the software with a with a friend because you're going to only well I don't know maybe buy it and, and see it's not very expensive check it out online at, uh, at education.ti.com I think you can find it so this is how we're going to do this so by the end of the video you'll be able to download uh, word documents or uh, pictures from the internet or wherever you have them onto your software and then download that onto your TI handheld which is going to be really really cool and I'll show you what I'm what I did with mine okay so here we go first thing I did was I started out here I st um, actually the first one I did wasn't this one at all uh, the first one I did was actually this one and maybe you'll see why is the unit circle so I searched for the unit circle got an image and what I did here was I just grabbed the image. This is the image I liked. I grabbed the image. I copied it. Uh, I already have my TI open. I went to my TI and I posted it here. So I, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I, I posted it here. Um, and this is what is really important. So we were heading down these instructions. First thing I did was here. I went to here. I went to file save as. And you see where it says file type ti inspired docs dot tns. That's what you have to have. And if you do that, it works out great. Works out really, really good. So that's what I did. I saved that. So just imagine I hit save. And you can see this is where I put the unit circle here. And I also put this pi symbol just um, messing around and seeing how many times I could do it without screwing up. And I finally got to two in a, two in a row. So, okay, here we go. So, so now we have this thing saved as a tns file. This is what gets really, really good. What you can do now is go to Tools, Tools, right? Transfer Tool, and then from here. So what, what did I do here? Let me see if I can't go back. Right, I went to Tools, went to Transfer Tool, right? I went to add to transfer a list, like that. Now what I'm going to do is pick the one that I want. And I told you what the one I wanted on my uh, handheld was the unit circle because sometimes I forget. And I kind of always have my handheld with me. So I was like, you know what, what if I just put it on there? That would be cool. So that's what I did. So I save that. So so like that. And that's what I transferred. Now, uh, I guess this is as important as anything. I already have my handheld hooked by a USB uh, cable to the side of my laptop here. So I hit start transfer and what just happened was I, I got an image on my thing that says folder transfer document unit C T N dot T N S. So I realized that's what I wanted. I'm going to wait for it to transfer. Oh, I had to hit OK on my handheld. And even though it doesn't say anything, I wish I could show you this because it's so cool. It, it's really, really cool. It opens up right on my handheld. I'm going to hit stop transfer because I already have it transferred before. All right. But check this out. Let me see if I can do this. Because this is really cool. So here's my what my handheld looks like right now. But look, I can go to my documents. I can go to my documents, and here's the, here it is. Now, I'm showing you exactly what my physical little tiny handheld looks like. This will work on the gray cast. It will work on the black cast. It will work on the thin one, the CX. It will work on the Inspires. The one thing you're going to have to think about is possibly updating your, uh, your operating system. Man, I'm telling you, this is the coolest thing ever. So just you want to save it probably before exiting. Cancel. That's not what I want to do. I want to open it. So, and this is what it looks like. Now, I had somebody say to me, yeah, but you can't read that perfectly. I don't have to be able to read this perfectly. I have a really good idea about the values on the unit circle, but this is a damn good reminder. And you can, um, you can zoom in on this in the same way you zoom, zoom in on graphs. So you could make this so you were just looking at this. You can move this thing up and down. And I'm telling you, nobody else has it, so this is the newest trick. Um, 
Uh, and if you, <laughs> if you, I'm not going to show you the picture, but I took a picture of a, of a guy, uh, a, another uh, instructor, and I put his picture up next to this Marine flag or something. It's really funny, and I and I loaded it onto his handheld. So you can put a picture of your dog or your Aunt Sally or whatever, whatever does it for you. You can. There's nothing you can't put up. So. I hope this is really, really helpful for you. I hope if you're uh, not subscribed that you'll subscribe now. And I, I look forward to your comments. And if you have a better way to do this, hook a brother up.